Alrighty, Econ John here. In this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I usually do, which is teaching uh, intermediate or advanced microeconomics topics like within a minute or in try to keep it in a condensed amount of time. This is a little bit more of a vloggy type post where I'm going to talk about hoteling's lemma in applied work, more specifically about how we can go and use it as a rule of thumb to evaluate whether or not a specific industry has short run fixed costs. So here we go. So let's just recall some basic facts about hoteling's lemma. Recall that hoteling's lemma states that the change in profits from a change in price is proportional to the quantity produced. Mathematically, this is the partial derivative of our profit function with respect to price is equal to the quantity produced. In a discrete example, this would be our change in profits all over a change in price is equal to Y star, which is our quantity produced. Conceptually, this could be restated as Profits increase or decrease linearly at a rate of Y star, which is a slope parameter, meaning that for each dollar increase in price, profits grow by Y star dollars. In terms of visualizing hotelling's lemma, plotting uh, delta P on delta pi, we get a straight line passing through the origin. This is uh, unsurprising because this is exactly what hotelling's lemma goes in states. So this chart over here, uh, it, it's pretty basic and we want to know uh, what could we use this for? What new information could we learn from having a chart like this? This plot can be used to analyze if in the short run a particular industry or firms has costs which are fixed, approximately fixed or variable. Using this method we can get an understanding regarding the nature of an industry's costs without summing them in directly. This is useful when we only have knowledge of a firm's profits and output prices. Below uh, are some of the simulations showing industries left to right with fixed costs, approximately fixed costs, meaning there's low variance in costs and completely variable costs. For a more applied example, below we analyzed the profitability of winter wheat production in Ontario in 2006 based on weekly CBOT prices. In this particular example, we included annual production in terms of tons and wages spent on total labor used in grain. Differences between prices and profits are in one week intervals. Uh, from this chart, we can see this nice straight line cutting through the origin. And we can say that hoteling's lemma holds considering such constraints. And we can also say that the cost, and in this case, wages can be considered fixed in the short run. To conclude, in this presentation, we showed that we can use the statement of hoteling's lemma as a tool to evaluate whether or not a given industry or firm possesses fixed approximately fixed or variable costs in the short run. It is useful to know because it allows us to safely say that all price increases experienced by the firm in the short run are profitable and are not reduced by the variability in costs. So did you like this video? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below.